Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this one, I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of tutorials I should create on YouTube. And a lot of you guys were saying how uh, I should talk about my process and like how I uh, get ideas and come up with concepts for my paintings. So over the next few weeks, I really wanna try to push myself to create more videos on here showing my process. In the video today, I'm gonna to be trying something that uh, will help you uh, for your creative process when you've been away for a long time or you've been working on a really big project and you kind of wanna unwind a little and you know get back into the swing of things where you're creating again. One thing I've noticed over the years is that when I start a big project, I tend to focus on that and it could usually take me a couple of weeks or a month of working on that piece. And I kind of get lost into, you know, finding ways to keep up my creativity. And that that, that can be a really big problem when your, your whole job is to create art and be creative. Um, so the question was to me, like, how can I continue to be creative while uh, creating these massive pieces and, and bigger pieces or projects. On screen now you're seeing a process that I do when I'm in this mood and I really want to create and keep up my creativity. So what I do is I get a piece of paper, any piece of paper is fine, it could be your sketchbook or just a, a random piece of paper. Um, for, me, for me I'm using a scrap piece that I had from my arches uh, paper that I bought um, and I kind of just put that down stuck it down to my table and just started sketching and the first thing that came to my mind was Homer Simpson so okay let me draw out Homer Simpson like there's no rules here let's do it um, so I sketched out Homer um, I didn't really look at any references I, I, I just sketched him out and the key thing to remember when doing this process is that it's okay that you don't know. It's like, I kind of just wing it every time I, I do this process. And what I found, it really helps with just getting back into things and really getting your mind in that way to create again. Um, so yeah, I, I drew out uh, Homer and I didn't really think about it at all. Um, and then went straight to paint uh, with acrylic. And when I paint the acrylic, I'm very expressive. I'm not, I'm not thinking about any detail or anything like that. I'm just thinking about form and shapes and tone, lighting, stuff like that, just to help me loosen up a little. The initial sketch that you just saw uh, took about four to five minutes, um, nothing too long. I don't like going uh, over over five minutes. I mean, it shouldn't take no more than five minutes to create a little sketch for you for this process. Um, remember to always think that, okay, you're creating something that it doesn't really matter. And the goal is just to get uh, into that mindset again. So creating something or drawing something that for five minutes, um, just to loosen up your hand and, and get back into things um, will really help. And then the painting process for me takes about 20 minutes or something. Uh, 15 to 25 minutes is probably around the time you should be aiming for. Um, and no breaks or anything, just do it straight. Um, and what you find is that it actually surprises you what you actually create. And what I found uh, by doing this a lot is that you actually improve a lot with your paintings and what I found is that I like certain types of the painting. I may not like the whole painting in general and I wouldn't you know create this painting again but I can find things that I really like about the painting. So in this painting of Homer I really like the ear for some reason I don't know but <laughs> and there's some there's something to the type of mark making I created um, and textures I created 
in this process without thinking. I wasn't thinking of, I want uh, Homer's ear to be in that shape or look exactly like that, but I feel like that's the strongest part of the painting, but um, I'm sure you guys will think like, oh, what, what's he saying? But when you guys do it, you'll find certain things in the painting that you create is very interesting and, and you want to continue that and achieve that kind of mark making as well. And that's a really beautiful thing when you think about it. It's like a uh, you, you've got all this chaos and when you're painting fast, you, you, you're thinking about just one thing is that you what you're painting straight th right there and you're not really thinking about the future or the past you're not like getting caught up in your mistakes um because the mistakes are welcome here and that's what painting should be at the end of the day there should be mistakes and they're they're there to teach you a lesson so with the ear that i was saying um it was really interesting to me to find certain types of ways i push the brush the brush around and I, I kind of take mental notes of these things where I'm creating these certain brush strokes and how I do it with what colors and I kind of have that in my mind for next time. So when I'm creating the bigger pieces and the bigger projects again, I can use some of this these things that I've learnt that I learnt very quickly because this is a really short exercise for you guys to try. Doing these quick studies of anything you want will help your projects and your style even greatly than just doing one piece that you're really focused on. If you loosen up a little and create pieces that don't hold any restraint or any rules, um, it will really help you and it will push your style forward to a unique place. Um, I think there's a lot of pressure when it comes to finding your style and and finding something that, that you feel is okay for yourself. And what you've got to really focus on is just creating art that comes straight out of your head and very quick and simple. This process really helps you to switch off that inner voice that, that says you should do this and you shouldn't do this and don't do that, do that. <laughs> But um, yeah, it really forces you to switch off that and kind of just focus and be in the moment. Um, I've been looking at lots of abstract artists on YouTube. Um, I've been randomly clicking um, just to just to see their process and what they they really do and what I've seen and analysed is that they're really just doing whatever they feel is right. Uh, and there's something to that. I'm, I'm not saying that you should think, like thinking about things is really good for your art, but sometimes it's good to just switch off and just create whatever you want. Um, and this, this exercise really forces you to do that. And I think that's very vital for, for you to grow as an artist and, and really see what your style is. And it kind of maps out a, uh, where you are so guys if you're working on something that is you feel like you're being put under pressure or you don't feel like you kind of just want to get away from a piece or you want to warm up in the morning um, when you're creating or in the evening um, it's good to do this exercise and I, I challenge you or I, I really hope that you should try it at least just to see if it, if you like it or not and you i'm sure you'll see a good improvement to your work and um it will really help you uh to create uh art pieces that you really like um so yeah guys that's about it um let me know if you have any questions about this process or just feel free to message me on here or instagram um what you created and what you tried out and what you discovered. It's really interesting to me to see um, that you guys are learning as well as I. Like, I learn from you guys as much as you learn from me. With that being said, I'm going to be doing a lot more process videos and talking about my ideas 
when it comes to keeping up your creativity. I can't wait to get on with that. Um, but that's about it guys. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.